Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to you all. I am Birder here for part two of my Salmon Max playthrough. Still episode one, Culture Shock. You know, I don't actually know how long these things last. I can only take them out a couple hours. Of course, I don't mostly screw around all that often. Okay, back to the topic at hand. How do I knock out this... Ah, the cheeky. Coleman, Pulled over from the days when you could sell yeah, all kinds of cheap life. crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. Okay, maybe I should try to knock someone else out first. Hmm. Unless there's something else right now I'm missing. No, the bowling ball's for someone else. Uh. Well, let's do that for now. I'm sure Sub will be fine. She'll get locked in the closet again. Yeah. Oh, look, lefties. This place used to be Lefty's tool rental shop. Good old Lefty. I'll miss him. You couldn't stand Lefty. You once poked him in the eye with the number three socket spanner. Exactly. Good times. Eh, hmm? uh, more graffiti, you know. What's this? Lawnmower show? Looks like there's going to be a lawnmower show. Great. I love riding mowers. They're like golf carts with teeth. Oh, it's not wrong. Sorry, bank can. Hey, a can of spray paint, and it's not even empty. Hmm, I wonder what I use this for. Whee! Oh. Hey, get back here. Come on. Hey. Max. Max, get back here. We got our Whee! There we go. <laughs> I love doing that. This could use a little improvement. Much hey, hey, you messed it up. Oh, now I've got to fix it, Rain Tree. So, who the heck is this Gary Coleman effigy? Look, Sam, it's another one of the soda poppers. Wow, what are the odds? Say there, soda man. Oh, you made me mess up. Now I have to start all over. This thing is about to no, It's you. Wow, an actual celebrity vandalizing our neighborhood. This is great. Remember where you were famous? Boy, you sure were a famous, oddly underdeveloped teen celebrity at one time. I'm still famous. Are you? Um, like a million point one times more famous than you. I highly well, doubt we're that. really more known in the 18 to 34 year old repeat criminal demographic. How about an autograph? Say, how about an autograph for my pal? You can sign my butt! Make it out to Squinky! I don't sign butts anymore. People get ticklish and they move and it gets all messed up. I'll risk it. Sorry, I can't stop painting. This has to be perfect. And that was the creepiest line I've heard so far today. What was that catchphrase you used to say on your show? It was like, you messed me up, or something like that. Huh. You made me mess up, but you just did. Thanks a lot. Oh, yeah. Does that really count as a catchphrase? I mean, I'll have the rambling tag say be a catchphrase too if I just say more, say enough. Actually, that's what a catchphrase is. Speaking of, I forgot to check something. I looked up what I forgot to look up before I started this video. The average lifespan of a hummingbird is five years. I'm surprised these guys made it to their freaking... Wait. 70s is made early 2000s? I guess they're maybe born in the late 60s? 40s? Yeah, quite surprising. They made it this far. Yeah. So what have you been doing lately? So Specs, what are you up to these days? Any new projects? Yes. I have a new light in my life, and his name is Brady Culture. He's the genius behind the Ibo Ocular Fitness Program. You really should try one of his videos. I'm gonna say this now, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually my second time going through this. This Brady Culture shit is pretty much just as annoying as the characters keep saying it is, so I'm gonna skip it next time. Well, I'm gonna skip it this time around. Trust me, you're not missing much, and you'll thank me later. Okay, enough about that. Sounds fascinating, but enough about that. You can never get enough of Brady Culture's eyeball. I haven't even seen it yet, but I've had more than enough. Uh, let's... Uh... Didn't we see you on Didn't TV I see you on an episode of Celebrity Slap Fight? I was desperate! I was heavy into three ring binders at the time, and I needed the money. You got your clock cleaned by that lady from Old and In the Way! I never saw that walker coming. <laughs> I was a Celebrity Slap Fight, what the hell, she used a walker? Well, that's nice. Uh, let's see. 
How about your spray paint? Tell me something about that trendy modern street art you're perpetrating. What about it? Why are you painting? Do you live to paint or do you paint to live? I don't know why I do it. I just have to paint. Like I said, I'm skipping as much Brady culture bullshit as I can. <clears throat> eh, how'd you learn to paint? Did you take lessons to learn how to do that? No, it just came to me one morning. This morning, in fact. Oh, that kid more of the hypnosis stuff. Let's see. Vandalism is illegal, you vandal. Are you aware that vandalism is illegal? And worse, unoriginal. We like to punish people who do it who aren't us. How could this be vandalism? Everyone loves Brady culture. I guess I'm no one then. Which makes the question why I have this keyblade. <laughs> that thing should be used against me. You messed up. Is the paint supposed to go outside the lines like that? What? No! Where? That's paint. Why is that blind in the first place? I'm just pulling your dwarfish leg, my friend. Maybe it's not watercolor. Don't do that! You messed up again. Max, is that a fly in the paint there? What? No! Where? That was a stupid fly. Just kidding again. And people wonder why I need therapy. Yeah, for some reason you're here, so that's psychotherapist's office. Oh, that's not well, you. We'll leave you to it. But you have to agree to paint me next. Sorry, I only paint Brady Culture. So if I were to change my name to Brady Culture, you paint me then? Actually, I don't want to answer that. Let's just get rid of this little spaz. Sir Isaac Newton, eat your heart out. Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. Can you believe I take the pay for this? You made me mess up. I think they also shared your skull <laughs> in five different places. And now this is quality television. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. <laughs> oh, uh, it's still not quite right. <laughs> Oh, well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Uh, Maybe just one more second. Okay, let's go. One second, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about that. I uh, caught the video because it looked like it was uh, too off when I was recording earlier. But uh, thanks to that, you guys actually just missed probably one of the funniest jokes of this episode with um, the person behind the TV talking. But we'll see that later. Especially here, I have two more dwarfs knockout. It's supposed to be great. They are incredibly short. So bad in Team Hero calls all shirt people bird choice. That's a bird. Alright, bird. I'll look up the yeah, act of the play mini me later. It doesn't matter right now. So, uh can I harvest sword and sell my out for a good while. Okay. So let's see. Oh, yep. I'm sorry. A bit meter. Remember our old car, Max? I said I was sorry! Your box? Bad news. It says they've bred a horse with eight legs. Does it run twice as fast? No, but it does eat twice as much. <laughs> yes, it is bad news. What's the worst news? It says cloning rights activists are cloning themselves to create a bigger voting block. It works for locusts. <laughs> yes, it is worst news. It looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. <laughs> Boston Baked Beans? Takes me back to my childhood. No comment. Well, I would go into the shop, but I know what to do before I can do that. Because these two are broker than a college student. Whee! Ah, the speed of point and click adventure games. Such riveting, uh. No, I can't make a joke about it. It's slow as hell. The Soto? Let's go for a drive. Where are we going, Sam? <laughs> Let's go for a random Let's motors. go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody! Also, I can't keep you trying to make sure speaking slow enough. Uh, this is going to be the hardest part of my solo commentary. Make sure you all can understand me. But it's also most important. By the way, Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. 
I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already cleaning on it, little buddy. Oh, I'm spraying because I'm saving him. Where's the other one? Let lie! Put it above And I'll see about it. Okay. Take the wheel, little buddy. With pleasure. Please accept my condolences for your tail light. And I'm just Sam one, tail light zero. And now we hook the horn. Oh, that worked. Pull over. This is your first and final warning. Pull over or die. Yeah. Hello. We're freelance police. And you are not. Ergo, we call the shots around here. Oh, why did you stop me? Oh, let's see. Incredibly excessive speed, dangerous reckless driving. Oh, a hit us he broke a taillight. Your taillight's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. Your point being... Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? What? Are you crazy? Uh, okay, one moment. Allow me to confer with my legal counsel. All right, my attorney advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some accounting. So, is your attorney Thanks, in the glove box? Uh, along with the 10G? Well, that's the only part of this that was actually important to gameplay, so let's just move people now. Well, let's see. Yeah, we have to somewhere. Here's one. Pull over. Pull over, or we'll be forced to destroy your car and its occupants, if any. Greetings, anonymous motorist. If you were planning to bribe us, now would be the appropriate time. Yes. What's the charge? Uh, let's see. Incredibly excessive speed. According to our homemade radar gun, you were just exceeding the speed of light. That's not physically possible. Oh, would you like me to demonstrate what's physically possible? Well, considering you didn't actually commit the crime we're accusing you of, I suppose we'll just let you off of the warning this time. Back to the door. Like many other words to pop. I would cut, but that would be less interesting actually watching me drive. I haven't about the jump cut to the office. Uh, maybe one? Pull over! Pull over! Don't worry, we just want to talk! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir, or madam. You're in big trouble, mister, or miss. For what? Uh, let's see. Excessive speed, dangerously reckless driving. You are swerving all over the road like a drunken roller skater on wet ice. That was you! Oh, yeah. We'll take it ourselves <laughs> later. For now, we have more innocent victims to pull over. Ta-ta. Alright, let's see. Where's my next victim? Because they get the max treatment. Uh, Alright, next one. Pull over! If all I can pick what Max is gonna say, but no one can. Pull over! Like this is not a test! This is an actual emergency! And I think we just hit something. <laughs> something squishy, apparently. Hello. Know why we stopped you? No, why? I really? You know. I was hoping you'd know. Seriously, why? Uh, Max, what do you have to say about this? Ferret impersonation. I'm sorry, I mistook you for a ferret. And as you know, ferrets are not permitted to drive in this state. But I'm not a ferret. Well, that's what it looks like from here. Come on, Max. Let's go find some other unsuspecting driver to accuse of made-up crimes. I think there are two more options. Let's get back to the story or lack of oh, the there is in this game. Uh, here's the house. Yep, here's on screen, which is a very good thing. I don't think they can have the option to remove it. Do you know how old it is? Pull to the left! Pull to 
the right. I hit something again. Hello. Know why we stopped you? No. Why? Yeah. Why? Oh, uh, that means I ran out of options. They're repeating the same thing. Uh, worshiping false idols. We're locking you up for worshiping false idols. What are you talking about? I never worshipped any idols. Yeah, tell it to the judge. Actually, why don't we show some uncharacteristic mercy and find someone else to pull over? Yeah, we got time. Why not? Come on, just one more car. Where the hell's my cursor going? This horn is useless. Pull over. Gentlemen, stop your engine. I don't know if that always happens or what. You know why we stopped you? No. Why? Mess. Finish us off. Indecent exposure. We're booking you, sorry hide, for indecent exposure. What are you talking about? I'm fully clothed. Except your face. Get a veil, please. Let's go, Max. Having that face is punishment enough. Yeah, yeah, that's the driving section is over. Farmer's Market, Thursday. Or is that Tuesday? Yeah, let's just read one more sign. 50 foot walk on. I can't I can't read the trash. Alright, now that we've got the cash, let's go do what we need to. Which is, go knock someone else out. A van? What van? Oh, I guess that van. Well, Sam can see the walls. Bosco's mm. inconvenience. Have no fear, simple citizens. The freelance police are here to keep the peace. Violently impossible, you called? It's just you two? Where's the SWAT team? Where's the National Guard? Where's NASA? 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 Hold on, Bosco. What's the problem? What's the problem? It's a terrorist! A munchkin terrorist! He'll be the death of us all! Oh, does he still have the Bosco sticks, Bosco? I go from Bosco sticks right now. Yeah, I'll do that after I finish recording. I have many more videos to make. Uh, what much can terrorist? Where is this Lilliputian agitator? Are you blind? He's right there! Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Isn't he the one with the ladder control issues? Yeah, Wizard! He's a former child star. Oh, just lock him up and throw away to jail! Hey, that's, uh... Not PC, I can't even say racist because even that term is not PC. Remain calm. One of us needs to take a couple dozen elephant tranquilizers and call it a day. And you should take a few yourself. How can I be calm with a munchkin terrorist in my store? The truth is, I'm sure it's not PC as well. What's he doing? Exactly what is the nature of Wizard's malfeasance? He's malfeasance. delivering videos I didn't even order. Brady Culture's eyeball, what is that? Oh, it's something bad, I can tell you that. Videos. And look at that display. It's subversive and hideous. I don't know any white guy with a fro like that. I hear I that. Up Bob Ross. Who is sadly dead? Here comes Bob Ross. Jeez, how many dead people are going to pick up in this video? What well, is from the early 2000s? Video dumping? But why? Any idea why a freakish relic of the 70s would unload videos in your store? Think about it. No individual acting alone would ever deliver videos of his own volition. It makes no sense. I smell a conspiracy! I think you're just catching the hot weenies in an updraft. No, it's definitely a conspiracy. <laughs> a video delivery conspiracy? Was this, 1990s? What sort of malevolent forces would conspire to burden you with unwanted video cassettes? Oh, they've all got it in for me. The government, the media, the mafia, aliens, sentient computers, my mother, Niels Bohr, Switzerland, head lice, lint, pastrami, hairspray, tail tail- Stop right there! Hairspray had no part in this. Oh, sir, that's what you'd like to believe. Mm -hmm. Have you seen this Ibo Have you video? actually witnessed this Ibo video with your own eyes? Only a fool would watch a strange video. You watch it. Oh, so we're uh, barring the plot from the ring. Any other complaints? Any other heinous terrorist activities to report? 
Yes, he keeps using my bathroom. Who knows what he's doing in there? I think I know. So, we've got an unwanted video dumper and serial leak taker. Not even the National Guard can help us now. Got that right. Uh, no, I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay. Uh, we want to buy something. We'd like to patronize your fine establishment, my good man. By patronize you, he means we want to buy stuff from you, not mock you. We probably will mock you, but that's not what he meant. I know what he meant. Don't patronize me. So what do you want to buy? Right, maybe you should be patronizing them. Uh, what have you got? What have you got? Well, I still got that big sale on cheese. Oh yeah, cheese! I want that! And I might have another item of interest behind the counter. You know, worth the fact this guy's so paranoid I think he means his penis. I hope he doesn't mean his penis. Uh, cheese, please. We'll take that cheese that's just been sitting out in the open for everyone to touch. I can't scan it from way back here. You gotta bring it to the counter so I can ring it up. Do we have to do everything around here? Apparently so. Cheese, please. I still want that cheese. Like I said, just bring it to the counter. Oh, you're really letting this joke, aren't you? Okay, before I question your possible dick joke, do you have any... Do you have any weasels on a stick? Nope. Okay, do you have any, um... Do you have any two-handed broadswords? Nope. Really? Okay, do you have any, uh... Do you have any vegetables in the shape of famous naturalists? Nope. I guess that's a dick joke. Uh, do you have any... Do you have any candy pink fat boys? Nope. I don't know what that means. Uh, do you have any... Do you have any exiled political dissidents? Nope. Are you sure about that? Uh, do you have any... Do you have any weapons of mass destruction? Who's asking? Uh, George Bush. Oh yeah, technically, early I can still make that joke. But I can't make it now, but I can make it back when this game was made. Uh, do you have any... Do you have any... Hmm, I've run out of ideas. Well, you can always just start over again. Good idea. Raper dialogue loops. Alright, uh, let's hear this, uh... I really want to, what, what, what do you have to Accept your thinly veiled invitation to ask about the item behind the counter. Oh, it's just a little something I like to call a tear gas grenade launcher. Tear gas grenade launcher? Oh yeah, I really want that. It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. It'll clear out a room of militant college students in no time. Guaranteed. I feel really close to you right now. <laughs> okay, give us tear gas gun. We got your tear gas money right here. Really? All right, here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Oh, by the way, did I mention my automated defense system? No. What's it do? The 10000 just covered the cost of materials, you know. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> it's okay, everybody. I'm all right. Well, you're a cartoon dog. I'd be surprised if you weren't. Okay, that's it. What do we have here? Organ Trader? Self-Loading Weekly? Oh, let me see that! Self-Loading Weekly or the one next to it? Because I'm interested in the one next to it. Crash? No thanks. I brought my lunch today. Okay, how about hot weenies? No hot weenies? Joke. Look, Sam. Mr. Hot Weenie's eating a hot weenie. This rampant weenie cannibalism turns my stomach. Okay, how about this cheese? Bar tickets? Oh. Oops. Free videos? Don't mind if I do. Brady Culture's Ibo for yeah, ocular I'm fitness. using two monitors, so I actually over isometric exercise. And apparently What's so fireworks. revolutionary about it? See through walls and clothing. Roll your eyes at lightning speed. Lose five pounds of eyeball fat. Oh, good. I can never seem to lose that last five pounds. What do you say we start office movie night a little early today? I'll bring the caramel-coated sugar logs. I'm sure if I look it up, I can find caramel coated sugar logs actually exist. I would not do that during a video. I'm dragging off that kick. Lottery tickets. You gotta play to win. One dollar lottery tickets. Two dollars. I'm feeling lucky already. Eh. At least I'm state of Illinois. Well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. What? Oh! <laughs> oh. Did you see that? Oh, yeah! Attention shoppers! Sam, are you dead? I'm sure there's no tell. way a cool no house office puzzle. No one steals from Bosco. 
an honest but excruciatingly painful mistake. What, friend stuff from Bosco? Hey, Bosco. What can I do for you? We ought to buy the cheese. That's what you got here. Nice place you got here. What's so nice about it? Nice name? Bosco's Inconvenience. Nice name. It's true. It really is inconvenient. Very. Well, thanks. I try. I guess he does. Nice proprietor. How do you get out of that cage anyway? That's for me to know and you never to find out. We will find out, Bosco. You cannot hide from us forever. That's security measures. What's with the maximum security prison motif? You'd been robbed as many times as I have, you'd do the same. I've never been robbed, actually. But then I typically point a large firearm at anyone who approaches me. You crack me up, little buddy. Uh, nothing else. What were we talking about? Uh, wait, uh, yeah, we want to buy something. We want to buy something. What do you got your eye on? This cheese. Okay, Mac, we want this cheese. Okay, standard cheese background check. I'll need to see at least six forms of ID, a valid federal cheese license, a completed organ donor card, a written release signed in the presence of a notary public, and your school report cards from the 9th through 12th grades. That's pretty inconvenient. It's okay, Sam. I can be brave. We'll just have to struggle cheeselessly onward. Yeah, we still have a closet full of cheese, which I question how Max got. Uh, never mind. Nothing for us right now. Okay. See ya, Bosco. We'll chat more later, Bosco, sticks. but right now it's time I'm to get up close and personal now. with that pint-sized evildoer. Stop that crazy man before he kills us all! Oh, there we go. And without certain interruption of Sun Slimer, that means this video's over, sadly. Welcome back next time to knock out two more dwarves. Bye for now.